This year I was fortunate enough to hire two additional Teach for America teachers, um, two young ladies, uh, one that's not from our area. Um, her name is Miss Brady. She's a fifth grade, one of my fifth grade teachers. Uh, she has a background in business and math. Ms. Villalobos uh, is from here. She's very energetic. Uh, she's got a lot of ideas. Um, the kids love her. Um, she's just a burst of energy and definitely uh, engaging for the children is every, everything she does. So Teach for America is a program that recruits recent college graduates who don't necessarily have an education background and recruits them to teach for two years. They give us rigorous training. So we have a rigorous nine week summer training where we get to teach in public schools across the nation um, and we receive training about how to teach and teaching theory and things that work, things that don't work and actual interactions with students. During our first year of teaching, we have so many resources. Even our second year, they're still available and they're still um, within our realm of teaching. And we have a mentor that comes in regularly. This year, I also had a second mentor that came in to just look at one focus. In early June, our teachers come and spend a week with us here in the Rio Grande Valley, where we spend time um, inducting them to the organization, giving them a bit of our organizational history, talking about the core values of our organization, the goals that we've established for ourselves, as well as starting to build relationships in the broader community, including things like interviewing for teaching positions. After graduation, um, you go to your region, so you have an induction week where you get to see the, one of the 39 regions you'll be in, and you get to interact with the community and learn more about where you're going to be living for the next two years. After that, you go off to Institute, which is a six to eight week commitment where you are in a different community, but it is in the state usually that you're going to be teaching in. So ours would be in Houston, Texas. So there we have a summer training where we teach summer school um, and we actually get to lead those classroom sessions and create our own lesson plans, learn about management and interact with students in a teaching capacity. After that happens, we bring them back to the Valley, and over the course of about three weeks, we put them through probably another 200 hours or so of professional development that is rooted more in making final preparations for the class that they'll be instructing in the fall. So things like what are your state standards, what state assessment systems do you have in place, what district curriculum um, do we anticipate will be provided for you, and putting together those instructional and management plans that will allow our teachers to have a very strong start come that first day of school. Although it sounds like Institute was only six weeks and that's not nearly as much as a four-year degree of education, um, within those six weeks we were able to get feedback almost every single day on how we were teaching in the classroom and then also um, we were learning new strategies and learning lots of different types of things every single day in order to improve um, on the criticisms that we were receiving from highly qualified professionals who have been teaching in the classroom for um, several years. Before our teachers ever show up to their new teacher in service in the district that they're hired in, um, they've already accumulated many hundreds of hours of learning and professional development. It starts in the spring when we send them a packet of materials that includes reading, video reflections, and an expectation that they're going and observing in both a high performing area and a lower performing area. Um, and then they're starting to reflect on the key tenets of leadership that we believe will make someone a successful leader of a classroom in a low income community. They get out in the community, they're coaches for my teams. My students are winners because they have people who are very dedicated, not only there for them for teaching, but all during the day, but also after school for extracurricular. Um, these people that I've hired have been very fortunate that they strive to continuously learn and improve themselves. Teach for America program itself presents a lot of training for them um, after school or on the weekends. Um, so again, the, the staff development that's offered and that comes with these young people is, is wonderful. Uh, the district um, benefits from it. My children benefit from it. And, you know, that kind of spirit is contagious. At Teach for America, we place like a large emphasis on data. Sometimes that can seem like a lot, but it's very important. And I think over the, the course of just a few months, I've found how important that is. Um, we strive for at least 80% mastery, if not more, that every student 
is reaching on um, every single teak that we um, need to teach in the year. And so um, starting at day one, when we start teaching in, at Institute, we s learn how, before we even get into the classroom, how to set up like a tracker that shows mastery exactly by each teak that we're gonna be teaching over the summer. And so then every day when we teach a lesson, we can you know, have an exit slip that each student um, fills out and once we grade it, we can put it into our tracker and figure out what kind of mastery we've it's, had. It's very helpful because it allows us to see if our students are meeting these goals. So we'll have like an 80% um, objective, or 80% goal, attainment goal. So they need to have mastered a concept 80%. And we do that for every subject and it really helps us see what students are learning and where the gaps in the learning are. So reading that data lets us know what we need to fix and where we need to improve because Teach for America stresses continually improving. So by looking at data and seeing where the gaps in the teaching are or in the learning are, you're able to assess what's going on in the classroom and come back in and fix what needs to be fixed so that your students can continue to grow. What I learned um, after I hired them, I knew before I hired just hiring them, but just by talking to them, they're, they're very bright young individuals. Um, that Teach for America was going to be connected with and make sure that, that they were successful at what they did. Uh, what I was very impressed with was the fact that they're encouraged uh, to go out and make those community connections. And, but they do it so willingly. They have a very uh, good sense of social justice. I think um, probably the thing that we're most well known for um, is just having a store of teachers that we can provide to districts. But I think if we're ultimately going to achieve our vision, which is one day all children in the Rio Grande Valley have the opportunity to attain an excellent education, we recognize that we'll never be able to provide the number of teachers that that would require. And so it does really require that deeper level of partnership between campuses, districts, and our office.